Cassie. Um, I'm back again tonight to cook dinner. It's meatloaf, corn on the cob, and mashed potatoes. Uh, we're going to get started with the meatloaf. Uh, I wear gloves because we have special needs, baby. We have gloves. Might as well use them. My fingers are wet. All right. I'm going to put the gloves on so I have to freaking have meat all over my hands. All right. Two eggs. We're going to use two eggs in here. So, my hands are dirty. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to put dales in here. So do that with everything. Then, a little garlic salt. Then, black pepper, because why not? Everything's got a freaking meat on it. I'm going to have to wash all this off. I usually season in terms. Okay, then, break those. I use I, I could use um, some crackers. It makes it really good. But it didn't. I don't have any crackers, white crackers right now. Now I'm gonna mix it up but not too much. The eggs help buy it together. How many pounds of meat does this? This is probably three pounds. It's five dollars. A little frozen still. I pulled out this morning, but still frozen. You know what else? I think we put other seasons in there, but I'm pretty far into this. Some people also put like ketchup. You know, we put ketchup in it. We push pause on speed. We'll put ketchup on top. Okay. Now. Make it to loaf. This is just super simple to throw together real quick. Because you can do all kinds of stuff. You can put ketchup in here, other seasonings, like I don't know, Italian seasoning, just like meatballs. But I'm gonna hurry. Because this takes a while to cook and it's already late. I mean, it's at least 6 40 because I just fed him a sick. Now, I'll throw this in the oven. Sorry for you at 350. <laughs> I'm gonna put the oven. Nothing. So I'm gonna slip your lap. All right. That should take like an hour, maybe less. I have to wash all these things off now. <clears throat> now we're gonna do corn cob in this pan. Oh, I need milk. I like to add milk to my corn and cob water. Won't have any, so we're just gonna add a stick of butter and some salt and pepper. Splashed. Oh, I wish I hadn't touched all these with this. This is garlic salt though. And pepper. I wish I hadn't touched all these with my meat hands. See, there's meat on everything. We have to get hands. We got Clorox wipes out. It's alright. It's because I'm sleepy. So you put all these in here. So okay. Wash your hands between each step would be good. Break them high. Wash your hands. Then, all right, potatoes. I need like a cut board. Just fried potatoes. I don't know how many tins we're going to use. But, what I'm going to do is, ah, 
Anyway, we're calling potatoes. You can use a potato pillar. I'm not gonna. Taste longer to me. Then, allergies. Oh my gosh. Florida right now today. High pollen count. I feel it. Allergic to Florida. Alright, I'm gonna wash these. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Now we're gonna get dice all these up and throw them in the pot of water. So one more thing I haven't said yet is we're gonna have salt. But this is the only salt I have left. I have like ran completely out of salt in this kitchen. And it's on my list, my shopping list. Milk, cheese, sour cream, sugar, salt. So um another thing is when uh, the meatloaf is cooking when it needs to last like 20 minutes of cooking time, I'm gonna put ketchup on top. This is really good. Super simple. Not exactly like how everybody does meatloaf, but it's like quick dinner because it's already almost seven o'clock. I guarantee it. You want heavily salty water for potatoes. Potatoes take a lot of salt. I might just take this little thing out and do it. Out. There you go. Now you want to heavily salt your potatoes. Stick them under boil and boil them till they're fork tender. I'll put it on hot. I'm trying to get this thing done. I swear it is like late, late. Usually our dinner's late. It's not, it's not even just tonight. Our dinner's always late because we go pick up a little chunky monkey, okay, from his therapy. And when we do that, we don't get back till six. We feed him at six. Then we'll have to start dinner. What I do sometimes is cook a freezer meal, meal prep, stuff like that. Or I use my Instapot and get there and done real, real quick. But this meat loaf is going to take a minute. The core of the cob, the potatoes, all this long, a long process. But we're going to get through it. I'll come back when uh, either the potatoes are done. Probably the potatoes will be done first. Maybe the corn. And normally, by the way, with my corn on the cob, I put a little milk in there. Makes it real good. I learned that in Texas, San Antonio. But. I'm having milk at all right now. It's on my shopping list. But we'll get there. Alright, anyway, I'll come back when the potatoes are ready to be squished and we'll do that. Alright, so our potatoes are done. We're going to strain them. Hopefully, this pan this bowl's big enough. Yay, yeah, down stick to the bottom. Our dish pile is getting bigger. This is my, the way I have my potatoes with my kitchen stand. Make sure you don't have to. You could use a pan mixer, I don't have one. Or you could use a um, potato squisher. You want to do? Put my cream cheese on the bottom. So I put, I think we'll put half a block of cream cheese in my potatoes. It makes it so creamy. And I put butter. And milk, but we're out of it. Oh, hey, we have canned milk though. Can you give me canned milk? You know where it's at. It's on the shelf. It's called uh, Carnation Instant Milk. I don't know, Carnation something. We'll try with half of, half of um, thin cream cheese first and see where it goes. 
money to add the whole thing. If we're going to do half stick of butter, because that's all you have left. Because I need to run the store, clearly. Not an ever freaking thing. Clearly, I'm out of everything. I need to run the store. So, put the turnies here. We need milk. So, we have carnation. Milk. There's a amount of uh, milk in the jug. I'm going to add a half can and see where it goes. It's always good to add not all the way what you think you're going to need. Because then you can still add more. Well, you know what? It works better if it's plugged up. It's a true story. We know this. We're not done. We're about ready to put the uh, ketchup on the meatball. So, we do. Down the potatoes. This looks right. We'll have to see what the salt level is. Try to get the lumps out. You don't want to over mix, mix potatoes either because they'll make it gummy. But, let's see if it tastes good. Or it needs salt. Probably needs pepper. I don't see any pepper. Mmm. -hmm. It needs everything. It needs some pepper. Okay. And pepper. I need salt. And my poor little squirrel is going to be empty. I, I thought you said you needed salt too. This is uh, squirrel salt right here. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to add the rest of the cream cheese. Any salt. They have sickle salt, which is all there's too. This is um salt. <laughs> Probably four pounds of potatoes. Just to mix the salt in and pepper. Make some pepper. There we go. Good now. Let me scrape this pepper off the sides. They probably saw it. They can't see the salt. It smells so good. This? This is so crazy. It's so crazy. Can you try it? Put it away and blanket on you. That's 
So anyway, we're going to taste this one more again. Let's see if it's on point. Mm -hmm. You know, creamy, salty, and peppery. Mm, it's actually really good. Oh my gosh. So, for breakfast today, what I do first is wipe it off. <laughs> I'm not going to use it again for a while. Maybe not until Thanksgiving. You don't have to have at all a kitchen to do mashed potatoes. It's not even a necessity. I just happen to have one. There you go. Thank you. Now, the mashed potatoes are done. Uh, wish my bow wasn't dirty. I put them in the pretty bow. Corn cobs are done. So we have um, Ian's dinner plate served here. We're going to go ahead and um, eat for the night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.